Hey guys, good evening and welcome to the class. I hope all of you are doing really, really well. Good evening. This is Sona Singh, your teacher for biology. And we are starting a new series all together for our ICSC students. So, what we were talking about We were talking all about CBSC. We have discussed a lot about CBSC. We have discussed a lot about chapters. So, right now we are trying to talk about ICSC and this is gonna be a menti session. Yani, we will quickly topics and then we will do questions through menti. So, quickly go ahead. Subscribe to the channel, all our new ICSC students and invite all of your friends. So, you invite all your friends and we will do a mentee and we will do a chapter. Bhi now, before I begin, so first of all, before I begin the ICSC uh, uh, you know, uh, curriculum, very very important is reduced syllabus, right? You will ask the first question, sir, reduced syllabus, what has ICSC reduced the syllabus? Reduce kiya hai? So, that is very very true. ICSC has reduced syllabus. Reduce kiya hai. But a very small portion, the chemical coordination in plants, right? Plant hormones, which you have to study, that whole part is reduced. That you don't have to study anymore for this particular year. But, son, you have to study all the other things. So, that's why you have to be serious, right? Enjoy it and study. And I'm very sure you're gonna love this, right? So guys, what are we going to start today? Today we are going to start the very first chapter that is structure of chromosome. Uska, uski pehli class hai, that is DNA, the genetic material. So we are going to very much start the very first episode, right? So are we, is everyone ready, beta? Kya sab log ready hai? Is everyone ready? Yes. Kya sab log ready? Is everyone ready? Chalo. So uh, without wasting any, any, any time, Let's quickly first try to understand if we know things or not, right? Without, पहले एक question के साथ ही start करते हैं, देखते हैं कितने लोगों को पता है. So guys, I want you to go to the menti, पहले menti से ही start करेंगे. So guys, switch on to menti, और जो code है आपका menti का, that is visible on your screens. So बेटा, menti का code आपकी screen पे visible है. You have to log on to Menti and enter the code 400921, right? You have to log in to Menti and you have to put code 400921. We'll start our session with one question, right? We are going to start the session with one question, right? So, uh, do you have, uh, are you already there on Menti? Are all of you on Menti? If there is this, then I will start with the quiz. Come on guys, quickly. Come on guys, everyone. Chalo, everyone, everyone, everyone. Very, it's gonna be very interesting. It's gonna be very interesting. Guys, let's, let's have more students here. Let's have more students here. Come on, invite your friends, beta. DNA is the genetic material in. हम डीएनए के बारे में पढ़ने वाले जरूर हैं, but इसके पहले हम नाइंथ क्लास में डीएनए थोड़ा सा पढ़कर आते हैं। So what do you think it is? DNA genetic material किन चीजों में है? Come on. What do you think? Come on everyone. Guys, add your add your friends बेटा. आपने सारे friends को invite करो. Go ahead. Guys, I I think we can do a great job if we, if, if we take this very, very seriously, right? If we take this seriously, we can do a great job. So tell me. Yes, come on. DNA genetic material kaha kaha hota hai? Where, which are the organisms who have uh, DNA as the genetic material? Come on guys, quickly. Very good. So, uh oh, but a bot log no one a galat kardia is DNA the genetic model in all organisms? No, but uh, in some viruses, you also have you also have RNA as the genetic material. Bohat sare viruses may do hamara genetic material hota hai that is even RNA, right? To hame careful rena hoga. Right, we have to be very, very cautious. DNA is generally the uh, genetic material in all cellular organisms, 
बट नॉन सेल्युलर बींग्स वी कांट कॉल दैम एग्जैक्टली ऑर्गेनिज्म बट जो नॉन सेल्युलर बींग्स है बेटा उसमें यू हैव दी आर एन एज वेल एज दिनेटिक मटीरियल ठीक है तो इस चीज का हमें ध्यान रखना पड़ेगा सो काइज लेट अस क्विकली बिगिन सो वॉट इज डी एन ए आवर कोड हमारा जो इंफॉर्मेशन है अबाउट एवरी थिंग दैट इज रिटर्न इन योर डी एन ए डी एन ए थ्रेट्स टूगेदर विद प्रोटीन्स विच विल बी दी कंटेंट ऑफ आवर सेकेंड लेक्चर की डी एन ए प्रोटीन्स के साथ कैसे अरेंज है बट टूडे वी आर ऑल ग्राउंड टॉक अबाउट डी एन ए सो एवरी थिंग दैट यू सेल डज राइट एवरी थिंग दैट यू सेल नोज हाउ टू मेक the atp synthesis how to make the proteins of your muscles how to make antibodies everything is written in your dna and dna arranges with the proteins to call uh, to be called as chromatin to beta we will discuss chromatin in detail in the next class but i want you to understand right now that dna plus protein the complex is called as your chromatin dna protein ka complex chromatin kehlata hai okay now you have about 2 meters long dna in your cells humans if you talk about humans beta aapke paas lagbhag 2 meter lamba dna hai this 2 meter lamba dna is broken into a fixed number of chromatin threads in case of human cells you have 46 such threads agar aap normal human cells ki baat karo you have 46 such threads different organisms have different number of these threads right so we can't have a huge thread of dna we break it into smaller threads which we call as chromatin fibers or chromosomes even that is safe to be called right so beta the story is divided into two parts how dna arranges itself to be the chromosome which is tomorrow and what is the structure of dna which is today so we have dual parts of the story हमारे पास स्टोरी के दो हिस्से हैं डीएनए प्रोटीन के साथ कैसे अरेंज होता है जो हमें कल पढ़ना है और आज हमें क्या पढ़ना है कि डीएनए खुद का डीएनए की जो थ्रेड है व्हाट इज द स्ट्रक्चर जीन क्या है डीएनए क्या है लेट अस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट राइट तो बेटा लेट अस क्विकली गो टू आवर व्हाइट बोर्ड क्विकली हम अपने व्हाइट बोर्ड पर चलते हैं लेट अस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस मोर एंड मोर तो बेटा आपको पता है व्हाट इज योर ट्रेन मेड अप ऑफ इफ आई आस्क यू द क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज योर ट्रेन मेड अप ऑफ ट्रेन इज मेड अप ऑफ कंपार्टमेंट्स कंपार्टमेंट वन कंपार्टमेंट टू कंपार्टमेंट थ्री कंपार्टमेंट फोर एंड सो ऑन सिमिलरली व्हेन आई से डीएनए बेटा डीएनए इज अ पॉलीमर अब यू विल आस्क सर वॉट इज अ पॉलीमर पॉली and mer mer means unit poly means beta many yani dna is a big molecule made up of very small molecules so several small molecules of dna sorry several small molecules link together to form the dna what are these small molecules that we first need to understand so this small molecules beta is known as this a small molecule of dna is known as the oxy ribo nucleotide so if you want to imagine dna so beta dna can be imagined as a thread made up of several d oxy ribo nucleotides but it's like a railway track what is there in a railway track beta you have one railway track you have second railway track and in between you have these things right just like a ladder ladder mein kya cheeze hoti beta you have one backbone you have another backbone and between you have steps so similarly our dna is made up of two strands of two strands of d oxy ribonucleotides right so it is made up of two strands of d oxy ribonucleotide what is this let us try to delve further deep or ag andar ja ke samajhne ki koshish karte hain what is actually this thing right so beta aap jo picture abhi dekh pa rahe ho on your screens so you can clearly see that aapko aisa dekhne mein lag raha hoga that this looks like a twisted ladder agar aap isko aam bhasha mein samjhe this looks like a twisted ladder a ladder which has been twisted 
if you divide it in from the between agar aap beech se divide karo that means you have two strands right each strand has a backbone and some steps right i, I hope i am being clear with everyone right beta okay i missed many comments okay so guys uh, are they nucleotides we'll discuss that okay guys 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 focus right now focus so beta dna eukaryotic dna is double stranded matlab it has got two backbones okay and this is called double helix double kyun because it has got two strands helix kyun because it's twisted around a common axis right beta yes we'll do cell division as well we have just started the icsc curriculum we will do cell division as well okay so beta eukaryotic dna is double stranded two strands of dna are like the backbones of the ladder and in between there will be steps these two strands are joined together and the joining force the joining bond is the hydrogen bond right so you have one strand and you have the steps just like this you have another strand and you have the steps just like this and finally what do you have finally you have the bonds in between you have the bonds in between right what are these bonds ye bonds kya hai beta these bonds are hydrogen bonds so why icc because beta we have both the students right we have both cbse and icc and we want to help everyone right so and beta one thing i will make very clear if you are thorough with icc nothing can step you down agar aapka icc curriculum tak ka level clear hai nothing ntsc ho kvpy ho kuch bhi ho you will crack it like this right so beta you have the dna which which is your genetic material so as i said it is made up of series of deoxyribonucleotides right beta in your picture i have shown you one deoxyribonucleotide this is one deoxyribonucleotide ab ab bologe sir isme bhi to teen hisse hain these this one deoxyribonucleotide also has got three parts that is very very true what are these three parts the three parts are a base a sugar and phosphate so beta if you talk about one deoxyribonucleotide if you talk about one deoxyribonucleotide it is made up of right it is made up of sugar base and phosphate i hope this much is clear to everyone कोई डाउट बेटा अभी तक किसी को भी राइट सो वन डीऑक्सीड इज मेड अपर शुगर बेस एंड फॉस्फेट सिमिलरलीक्लोटाइड विल बी मेड अपर बेस एंड फॉस्फेट ऑलवेज शुगर बेस एंड फॉस्फेट ओके नाउ दिस शुगर हैज गॉट फाइव कार्बन if a sugar has five carbon you call it a pentose sugar sir uh, which chapter it is this is the very first chapter of icc once you said that there are not much differences i will come to that abhijit the differences are in base okay so beta these smaller units of the dna is base sorry deoxyribonucleotide which is in again made up of a base sugar and a phosphate because this sugar has got five carbon you call it a pentose if this had six carbons you would have called it a hexose seven carbon heptose eight carbon octose right not pentane that is an alkane once pentane is an alkane organic chemistry right it's a pentose theek okay? hai now so one deoxyribonucleotide second deoxyribonucleotide third deoxyribonucleotide and so on why pentose five sugars once five sugar sorry sorry five carbons okay now what is the difference then i drew three i drew three different deoxyribonucleotides what is the difference between them what is what are the possible differences between them kya possibilities hain the possibilities are different bases right the possibilities beta different bases ke hain 
now in english you have 26 alphabets whatever i am saying whatever you are understanding is a combination of those 26 alphabets right dna has only four possible alphabets and the four possible alphabets are actually representative of four nitrogenous bases is the number of carbon same as all dna sugar it is sniper it is okay all the sugars are pentose all okay now the only differences in individual deoxyribonucleotides will be the nitrogenous base the only difference there are four possible nitrogenous bases a t g c what are they i will tell you about it very soon so if you want to make a 10 letter sentence using these alphabets you'll say a t g c g c t t a a you can use it in all possible combinations for example my name is sona when i use s o n a in this exact sequence if i write this sequence it, it is nothing naso naso is nothing right if i alter the sequence s a n o that's again different so every time every with just these four you can have millions of combinations depending upon how long your dna is right so beta you always have this combination right now what is the attachment in between these individual things let us again go to our blackboard right let us again go to our blackboard so beta now we'll understand the bonds between them right so what's the first thing you have a pentose sugar right there you have a nitrogenous base now the problem is how is phosphate attached this is an ester bond coo this is an ester bond now two deoxyribonucleotides are joined by two deoxyribonucleotides are joined by phospho two ester bonds yani phospho diester bonds very very important phospho diester bond why diester di kyu aaya beta ester number 1 ester number 2 so two deoxyribonucleotides are joined by phospho diester bond agar kisi ne pooch liya ki phospho ester aur phospho diester ke beech mein kya difference hai you have to know the difference two deoxyribonucleotides are joined by phospho diester okay beta it is c double bond o o okay that that kind of bond is an ester bond okay it's organic chem chemistry you learn more about it in your uh, uh, carbon wala chapter you learn more about it don't worry theek hai there are there are several function groups alkanes alkenes alkynes alcohols aldehydes esters you learn about them in details but right now you need to know that bond between two deoxy ribonucleotides is a phospho diester bond now very important thing ek aur cheez hai jo yahan bahut important hai what is that very important thing guys that very important thing is this is the starting carbon okay this is the starting carbon so i will label it 1 2 3 4 and another carbon is here 5 okay beta this here is an oxygen ye oxygen hai the five carbon is in the sugar is is this in cbsc syllabus not at all vansh this is not in cbsc syllabus this is icsc syllabus okay to so, beta okay guys uh, let me frame that again because uh, you might get confused so this is first second third fourth and five and this is the fifth carbon जहां से फॉस्फेट जुड़ा होता है द फॉस्फेट इज ऑलवेज ज्वाइंट एट द फिफ्थ कार्बन वेर एज द थ्री द थर्ड कार्बन हैज एन ओ एच ग्रुप सो द डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लियोटाइड का ट्रेन हैज टू एंड देर इज अ फाइव प्राइम एंड एंड देर इज अ थ्री प्राइम एंड द फाइव प्राइम एंड हैज गॉट अ फॉस्फेट एंड द थ्री प्राइम एंड हैज गॉट अट एन ओ एच सो इफ यू ज्वाइन several 
if you join several deoxyribonucleotides now i am just drawing them as dabbas i am not drawing the individual three components here beta main individual three components nahi bana raha right if i just join them as dabbas so there will be a five prime end which will have or which will join to a phosphate and there will be a three prime end that will have an oh group okay तो बेटा अगर आपने डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लियोटाइड के एंड्स को जोड़ दिया इफ यू स्नैप ऑल दी एंड्स टूगेदर बेटा ओके सी कार्बन कंपाउंड्स को नेम करने के लिए कार्बन कंपाउंड्स को नेम करने के लिए यू ऑलवेज काउंट दी नंबर ऑफ कार्बन दिस इज फर्स्ट कार्बन सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ ठीक है ये जो फिफ्थ कार्बन है ना बेटा इसी फिफ्थ कार्बन से द फॉस्फेट बाइंड्स, द फॉस्फेट बाइंड्स टू द फिफ्थ कार्बन यू पैक नेम इन एग्जैक्टली ओके वेर एज वेर एज द थ्री कार्बन इज अटैच टू एन ओ एच सो वेन यू ज्वाइन सेवरल जब आपने बहुत सारे डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लोटाइड को जोड़ दिया सो ऑलवेज दे विल बी अ फाइव प्राइम एंड एंड दे विल बी अ थ्री प्राइम एंड हमेशा एक फाइव प्राइम एंड होगा जिसमें फॉस्फेट चिपका होगा एक थ्री प्राइम एंड होगा जिसमें हाइड्रोक्साइड चिपका होगा दैट विल बी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन देम राइट सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर डायग्राम इस पर्टिकुलर डायग्राम में इफ आई से दिस इज देन दैट द फाइव प्राइम एंड एंड दैट इज द थ्री प्राइम एंड एंड इन बिटवीन हियर दीज बॉक्सेस आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग द बॉन्ड्स ठीक है एक फाइव प्राइम एंड होगा एक थ्री प्राइम एंड होगा मैंने कहा था डीएनए इज अ डबल हीलिक्स दो स्ट्रैंड्स होते हैं तो जैसे ये पहला स्ट्रैंड है देर इज देर विल बी अनदर स्ट्रैंड एज वेल बट इट विल रन इन दी ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन वो उल्टी डायरेक्शन में काम करेगा यानी उसका फाइव प्राइम एंड इधर होगा और थ्री प्राइम एंड इधर होगा वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बेटा ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है दिस इज कॉल्ड एंटी पैरल स्ट्रक्चर आवर डीएनए इज एंटी पैरल राइट बेटा हमारा डीएनए इज एंटी पैरल बेटा देखो ये आसान नहीं है ये आसान नहीं होगा फॉर सीबीएसई इफ इफ यू गाइज आर सीबीएसई इन रोल आपने शायद ये चीजें पहली बार सुन रहे होंगे एंड दैट इज ओके बट इट्स इट्स योर विश इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यू नो इनकलकेट दिस बेटा मैंने क्या बोला आपका जो पेंटोज शुगर है उसके फिफ्थ कार्बन से हमेशा फॉस्फेट जुड़ा होगा और उसके थर्ड कार्बन से हमेशा हाइड्रोक्साइड जुड़ा होगा तो वन साइड ऑफ द डीएनए विल बी फॉस्फेट अनदर साइड ऑफ द डीएनए विल बी हाइड्रोक्साइड डीएनए हैज गॉट टू स्ट्रैंड्स, डीएनए के पास दो स्ट्रैंड है तो एक स्ट्रैंड का जिधर फाइव डायरेक्शन होगा दूसरे स्ट्रैंड का फाइव डायरेक्शन जस्ट ऑपोजिट होगा द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द फाइव प्राइम ऑन द सेकंड स्ट्रैंड विल जस्ट बी ऑपोजिट दिस इज कॉल्ड एंटी पैरल डायरेक्शन योर डीएनए इज अ डबल हीलिक्स मतलब इट हैज गॉट टू स्ट्रैंड डबल मतलब टू स्ट्रैंड हीलिक्स मतलब इट्स ट्विस्टेड डीएनए इज ट्विस्टेड एंटी पैरल मतलब the positioning is just opposite okay the positioning is just opposite sir aapne kaha third wala third wala hydroxide oh third wala hydroxide fifth wala phosphate theek hai har ek deoxyribonucleotide ka fifth wala phosphate third wala hydroxide hota hai if it is not involved in bonding icsc is not in uh, beta It's it's a national board. It's not an international board. अब बात करते हैं बेसिस की आई टोल्ड यू देर आर फोर पॉसिबल लेटर्स चार पॉसिबल लेटर्स हैं राइट नाउ नाइट्रोजिनस बेस और शुगर को आप कंबाइन कर दो देन यू कॉल इट अ न्यूक्लियोसाइड न्यूक्लियोसाइड के जैसे साथ में फॉस्फेट जोड़ दिया यू कैन कॉल इट अ न्यूक्लियोटाइड सो दैट इज हाउ द नेमिंग गोज अ बेस एंड अ शुगर न्यूक्लियोसाइड द न्यूक्लियोसाइड के साथ फॉस्फेट जोड़ दिया तो न्यूक्लियोटाइड दैट इज हाउ इट गोज दी ओनली डिफरेंस इज इन दाइट्रोजेनस बेसिस 
what are the possible bases the there are four possible bases a g t c right okay a g t c there are four possible letters okay now the sugar is always deoxyribose which is a pentose sugar sugar ka naam kya hai chemical naam kya hai deoxyribose it's a pentose sugar always so there are two types of bases a purine and a pyrimidine right a purine and a pyrimidine purine ka matlab it has two carbon rings pyrimidine ka matlab it has one carbon ring that is the difference you need to remember as an icse student right purine has got two carbon rings pyrimidine has got just one carbon ring i will show you the structure right now as well okay so guys dna is made up of deoxyribonucleotides so what is deoxy deoxy stands for the sugar ribonucleotides matlab nucleoside plus phosphate okay now beta in this picture is picture mein aap char bases ko dekh sakte ho these are purines a and g are purines they have two carbon rings c and t are pyrimidines okay purine and pyrimidine there are four bases they are grouped chemically unko chemically group kiya hai purines ke paas do carbon rings hote hain pyrimidines ke paas ek carbon ring hoga okay now this is how they are arranged this is the base this is the sugar and this is the phosphate right base sugar phosphate base sugar phosphate base sugar phosphate and this whole is one strand this is one strand and this whole is the second strand right there are two strands each strand is made up of many deoxyribonucleotides each deoxyribonucleotide is made up of a base a sugar and a phosphate now what joins the two strands dono strand ko join kaun sa karega to beta that will be hydrogen bonds right that will be hydrogen bonds okay there are hydrogen bond between a and t and there are hydrogen bond between g and c beta it is hard because uh, aapko generally iski aadat nahi hai but beta this is the curriculum in icsc you can't avoid it beta agar aap icsc student ho you have to study this you have to get better at this that is why we have launched this series specifically okay so guys adenine aur thymine ke beech mein do hydrogen bonds hai there are two hydrogen bonds guanine aur cytosine ke beech mein teen hydrogen bonds hai so a t a always pairs with t g always pairs with c okay ए हमेशा टी के साथ जाता है जी हमेशा सी के साथ जाता है एंड क्योंकि ए हमेशा टी के साथ जाएगा दैट मीन्स द कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ ए शुड बी इक्वल टू कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ टी एंड द कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ जी शुड बी इक्वल टू कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ सी जितने ए मेरे पास हैं उतने ही टी होने चाहिए जितने जी मेरे पास हैं उतने ही सी होने चाहिए दिस वॉज फाउंड बाई चार्ज ऑफ beta vanilla this is for icsc students beta aap cbsc ho okay although i welcome you to watch this session but beta aapko prepare hoke aana padega ki aaj hum bahut high level seekhne wale hain right you can't expect this to be a piece of cake ye to fact hai beta theek hai okay ye fact hai vanilla okay now the segments of dna that decides this character That is a gene. So if this is gene, अगर ये ये आपका DNA का एक टुकड़ा है and this टुकड़ा decides a character. Let's say this टुकड़ा carries the information about hemoglobin. This is the hemoglobin gene. This टुकड़ा this segment carries the information about about uh, let's say your muscle protein, myosin. This is another gene. right this is another gene now there are some things you ought to know about dna ka structure so abhi tak humne kya samjha that dna is double stranded 
So if I want to draw DNA, I'll draw it like this, double stranded. The total width is about 20 Armstrong. Kitna width hai beta? 20 Armstrong. Right? The distance between two turns, just like I said, the DNA twists around themselves. DNA apne around twist karta hai. Right? Now the distance between that is how much? Beta, it is 3.4 nanometers. Or is 3.4 nanometers may aapke kitne bases aate hai? 10 bases. That means the distance between two bases is just 0.34 nanometer. Now these things are frequently asked questions in ICSC. Better ye cheeze aapke ICSC mein frequently puchi jati hai. What is the distance between two, uh, two consecutive turns or also known as pitch of DNA? DNA ka pitch kya hai? Jaise aap screws mein calculate karte ho, screws ke around pitch kya hai? That is 3.4 nanometers. Bases ke beech mein differences kitna hai? 0.3 nanometers. So, ठीक वैसे ही जैसे आपके पास अगर एक ladder होता, तो आप जानना चाहते कि दो steps के बीच में कितनी दूरी है। So that is 0.3 nanometers for DNA. अगर किसी को nanometers का confusion है, तो बेटा one nanometer is 10 to the power minus nine. Is it important in genetics chapter? Not very much, बेटा. Not in CBSC. In ICSC, this is this is very very important. These are some of the frequently asked questions. The pitch of DNA, the uh, distance between two bases in the DNA. These are some frequently asked questions in ICSC. Okay? So, uh, as an ICSC student, you have to understand this. Okay? Chalo. Wapas chalte Let us go back. So, the segment of this DNA that decides a character is gene. And you know that all the information is written as the code of four basis ATGC. Right? Now, how much information is, how much, how many of these letters is there in your chromosome? You have 46 chromosomes in each cell. That is 3 into 10 to the power 9 base pairs. Aapke paas utne sare ATGC letters hai. You have so many ATGC letters. Right? Now, how do you find the similarities? Now, look at these two sentences. Better in those sentences ko dekho. I work at Ames, I am 27 years old, my height is 170. I work at Ames, I am 28 years old, my height is 170. Okay. So, better what is the difference? How many differences are there in these two sentences? Aapke in those sentences mein kitna difference hai? Better Zenith, ye aap 11 12th mein padoge. Agar aap CBSC ki baat kar rahe ho, aap 11 12th mein padoge. Okay, so beta, ek letter ka difference hai. One letter ka difference hai. The same things happens in case of your genes. So ATGC can frame very long statements. The difference between those statements give rise to different characteristics. Jaise, aapka eye color black hoga, kisi ka brown hoga, kisi ka green ho sakta hai. What does the differences, where does the differences come from? They come from those individual letters. Thik hai? Wo unhi individual letters se aate. Okay, beta? Chalo. So, DNA of every individual is unique. Ricardo Savatini ne kaha tha, ki agar aap maan lo ki aapke sare information is a letter, then you, your genome, your entire DNA collection is about 2,62,000 pages. Agar maan lo ki aapke DNA mein jitne letters hai, ek cell mein, agar aap usse books mein likhna chaho, to that book will have 2,62,000 pages. And us page mein, just 500 pages would be unique to the human race. Right? Think about how similar we are to others and how dissimilar. Agar aap अगर आप अपने और अपने भाई के बीच में कंपेयर करो, you will just have 500 unique pages. 
and your and your brother's books are 2,62,000 pages. Just imagine the differences. But in twil, twins, in twins, better that is the same. Twins have almost the same DNA. Now, some people get confused between DNA and RNA. Okay? Better DNA or RNA mein difference kya hai? Better do differences hai. DNA mein jo sugar hai, that is deoxyribose. RNA mein jo sugar hai, that is ribose. Yani, deoxyribose kaise banate hai? You subtract, you subtract a hydro, uh, an oxygen. Aapne RNA se, एक हाइड्रोजन निकाल सॉरी एक ऑक्सीजन निकाल लिया यू फॉर्म डी ऑक्सीराइबोस द बेसिस इन डीएनए कैन बी एटीजीसी द बेसिस इन आरएनए कैन बी एयूजीसी टी के जगह यू आ जाता है सो टी के जगह आपका यू आता है दैट इज द ओनली डिफरेंस सो दे दीज आर Two possible differences between DNA and RNA. ये भी एग्जाम में फ्रीक्वेंटली पूछते हैं वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डी एन एन आर एन ए डी एन एज द शुगर डी ऑक्सी राइबोज एंड आर एन एज द शुगर राइबोज वॉट इज डी ऑक्सी राइबोज डी ऑक्सी एक ऑक्सीजन निकाल लिया द सेकेंड डिफरेंस इज ए टी जी सी आर द फोर्थ बेसिस इन डी एन ए देर इज अ फिफ्थ बेस विच इज ओनली प्रेजेंट इन आर एन ए दैट इज कॉल्ड यूरेसिल Okay, that is called a uracil. Now, beta, go back to menti. Beta, वापस menti पे जाएंगे हम लोग. Go back to menti, guys, and enter the code which is flashing right now on the screen. जो अभी आपके screen पे flash हो रहा है. Come on, four zero zero nine two one, guys. Come on. Go back to menti and sign up the code four zero zero nine two one. Go ahead, guys. Come on. How many unique letters our DNA has? First question is, how many DNA में कितने unique letters हैं? बेटा आज क्योंकि ये first class थी and understand not everyone of you would be you know this inclined. That is why आज थोड़ा सा simple questions कर रहे हैं हम. But बेटा थोड़ा सा हमें मेहनत करना पड़ेगा because ICC is not an easy board. It is a difficult board and It's also a very challenging board. You can do it, but you have to work harder. It was quite easy. Yes, Zinat, today's session was quite easy. We 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 avoided many major uh, things. Okay, so guys, the first question: How many unique letters? So yes, you have four unique letters: A, T, G, and C. Okay. नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बेटा ऑन योर स्क्रीन आपकी स्क्रीन पे उसके पहले देख लेते हैं कि कितने लोगों ने जीता है ये हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव डन द आंसर्स करेक्ट एंड हु इज वेयर ओके आई कैन सी विनय इज द फर्स्ट बार्निक सेकेंड एंड वेनेला थर्ड वेल डन वेल डन गाइस वेल डन चलो ओके सो गाइस चलो लेट्स लेट्स गो बैक टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके एवरीवन रेडी ओ गाइस जस्ट जस्ट गिव मी अ मोमेंट ना ओके कूल एवरीवन एवरीथिंग इज कूल चलो सर हाउ कैन आई क्लियर दिस डिस्पाइट बीइंग इन सीबीएसई इट्स टोटली योर विल पार जीनत टोटली योर विल पार ओके इट्स टोटली योर विल पार इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन Again, I won't say it's needed. It's not at all needed because you are a CBSC student. If you are, if you want, it's it's very good. Okay, which of the following would be most similar? Better, they go CBSC or ICSC. Me level ka bhi difference hai, aur thode more topics ka bhi difference hai. Ye cheez jo first chapter hai, wo apka uh, CBSC me nahi hai. But jo second chapter hai genetics, wo apka CBSC me hoga. That is Mendel. ठीक है तो जब मेंडल पढ़ेंगे तो आई होप दैट विल बी हेल्पफुल टू एवरीवन वेदर यू आर सीबीएसई और आईसीएससी वेरी वेल डन देयर इज एन एरर इन दिस क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग्स वुड बी मोस्ट सिमिलर बेटा द करेक्ट आंसर वुड बी ट्विंस सो सॉरी द करेक्ट आंसर वाज बेटा ट्विंस ट्विंस हैव द मोस्ट सिमिलर डीएनए 
there is i will get it rectified from the back end don't worry okay so is this ntc no beta this is icsc bond between two oxy deoxyribonucleotide is dash beta bond between two deoxyribonucleotide ko kya kehte hain come on theek hai come on beta some questions are same because the topic is same some questions are different because new knowledge and level has been added right for example phosphodiester ka bond as a cbsc student aapne kabhi nahi suna hoga right but as an icsc you need to know very good so beta between two deoxyribonucleotides do train ke dabbon ke beech mein bond kya hai phosphodiester bond do strands dna ke do strands ke beech mein kaun sa bond hai hydrogen bonds to is do cheezon mein confuse nahi hona phosphodiester and hydrogen ठीक है अगले क्वेश्चन पे जाते हैं राइट वेरी गुड अर्पण वो ग्रेट वेल डन सो अर्पण बार्निक विनय दे आर द फर्स्ट टॉप थ्री सो अर्पण वेल डन बेटा सो गाइस एज आई से एवरी टाइम एंड इवन दिस टाइम दैट you need to work and if you work hard the thing the success is yours so beta drive to distinction a new super series that we were uh, we were already working with it has classes happening third fourth sixth and eighth right so do remember to subscribe to our channel apne channel ko subscribe zarur karna so that you keep on getting updates regarding these things right and hit the bell icon if you want to get regular notifications now i just wanted to announce that our second gear up the second batch of gear up the year long course is already there on our platform so make sure that you can sign up for this if you are interested in ntsc you jaise ki bahut log bol bhi rahe the if you are interested in ntsc guys try and uh, you can try for this course ntsc scholar which is a fourth month crash course and definitely that will help you a great अगर आपको कोई भी और इंफॉर्मेशन चाहिए यू कैन रीच इज बाय ईमेल और द फोन राइट चलो सो गाइस, दैट वाज द अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड नाउ द थिंग दैट इज एन के लिए एक मिनी कोर्स हम लेकर आए विच इज जस्ट फॉर सेवन डेज नॉन वर्बल रीजनिंग यू हैव यू कैन बिकम एन एक्सपर्ट इन जस्ट सेवन डेज विच इज अवेलेबल फॉर रुपीज ओनली एंड द क्लासेस स्टार्ट टूडे so you can still sign up and that is a huge huge opportunity you will get access to all the materials that is study notes you will get access to every uh, doubt resolution you will have mind maps and that will help you a great deal right so guys you can reach us on those channels you can reach us on telegram you can follow us on facebook instagram and obviously download the app to know all about these things right 7th july that is tomorrow we'll try to understand the higher levels that is how the dna is complex into a chromosome so tab tak ke liye bye bye do remember to like share and subscribe the channel so that you can have regular updates press the bell icon so that you can receive continuous updates regarding this so we'll meet soon and then we'll try to talk about it bye bye have a good day